All right, after uh, evaluating the film, uh, there were some uh, you know, good things in the game, as, uh, as everybody could see, and then there were some things, some mistakes that were made that needed to be cleaned up. Excuse me. Uh, we've got uh, a, lot, a lot of opportunities for young guys to play and uh, got a lot of reps, and so it was a great learning experience for them. Uh, could K4 and possibly start against uh, North Carolina State Saturday? I mean, uh, is he healthy like, enough? Uh, well, I, I don't. I mean, I never talk about the guy's health. If, if he's healthy enough, and, and uh, if we feel like he can help us win, then he can. He could, you know, he could help us play. You know, he can play for us this week. Are you, are you confident that he's performed well enough to be that starter so far? I mean, he's uh, what what we've seen of Cade in the in the games that he's did, been in. He's done he's done some good things. He's done some good things, and we wouldn't have put him in the uh, the last game if we didn't, you know, in the game four last if we didn't feel like he could help us win. Larry, defensively, uh, I know there were some some struggles at times in that game Saturday. How did how did the secondary in particular kind of grade out? Uh, we, you know, there was some uh, we had some breakdowns in a, in a few places in the secondary, and you know, early on. You know, we, we were okay. Uh, the, the main, you know, the main thing we were trying to do was keep our eyes on the quarterback uh, and, and keep him from beating us, just, just him alone, and, and stopping the quarterback runs and the scrambles and the things that he was doing. So we, we knew we were going to give up some things in the passing game to, to get that done, uh, you know. And I thought in the first half when we had all of our ones out there, those guys did a good job of, of containing him. Uh, but we still gave up some things in the passing game, yes. And you mentioned some of the young guys getting snaps. Jonathan Williams clearly had a, had a good game. Uh, is, is that what he's shown you throughout practice for the bulk who, of the year? Javante Williams? Yeah. Yeah, Javante, uh, I mean, Javante's done that. He's done that all fall, you know, because he's mm -hmm. been a starter on all four special teams. So he's been a big contributor to everything that we've been doing in special teams. And he's shown that he's prepared and ready to go. And so, you know, we, we just have gotten him limited, limited reps. And with uh, Antonio not being able to go, it was uh, we were able to get him uh, more reps uh, in the game. And then, uh, you know, I thought he did some nice things for us, yeah. Are there any, any other freshmen or true uh, retro freshmen that you saw on tape that really performed well and impressed you, staff? I thought that, uh, you know, Chris Collins did some good things out there. It was good to see uh, Zach Gill. He made, some, uh, he made some plays for us out there. Uh, you know, and then you've got some guys, you know, that have already been playing. Uh, you you know, you're still your young receiver. Uh, Diami is doing is, is continues to do good things. Uh, Javante, you know, uh, you know. So it was it was good that all those guys got reps because it was valuable. For them. <clears throat> Their quarterback still had some success running. A lot of quarterbacks have had success running the ball. What is the common thread? <clears throat> the defense maybe struggling at times. Running. Well, you gotta you you. You know, when you when you do that, you're going to put more eyes on the ball uh, or on the quarterback, and, and so you're going to play more zone coverage and things. So you have to change up what you do secondary wise. And uh, you know, I thought, like I said in the first half, I thought we did a good job of containing him. You know, and then when we started playing everybody else, we didn't uh, we didn't necessarily do a good job against him. There you and I, I I'm going to give that kid credit now. He's he's a good player. I mean, he, he's uh, he's tough to handle in the open field now. Larry, how big is the challenge for your secondary this week against their receiving core? Yeah, they've got good receivers. And obviously, uh, they got a, a a really good quarterback who, who can throw the ball and has been having success throwing against everybody. So it's a it's a challenge. It, it's definitely a challenge, you know. So we're going to have to do a great job uh, with our eyes and our eye discipline and all the things and playing fundamentally sound uh, to be able to uh, be in a position to control some of that. When you recruited Cade Fortin, uh, what did you like about him uh, most? Uh, you know, Cade could. Uh, Cade's a guy that can make all the throws. I mean, he can make all the throws, and he's uh, mobile enough to, to uh, where you can't just ignore his legs. You know, he's a smart kid. He was mature. He was uh, a kid that was uh, a leader. Uh, he, uh, but the, I would say the main thing is that he, he showed you the ability to make every throw that was you needed to make on the field. When you first catch wind of him? When did you first learn about him? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say probably his sophomore year. You know, it was when we started uh, watching Kate, start looking at Kate.
you know, because I mean, we we're we're usually on quarterbacks fairly early. You know, a lot of them come to camps. A lot of them, uh, uh, you know, we start uh, looking at film on guys that when they're freshmen. You know, but uh, when I when I really remember noticing Kate was when he was a sophomore. You let you know, made it very clear that you're keep the blinders on and outside things don't distract you. Right. When you have last home game coming up for these seniors, kids that you brought in, that you trusted you for four or five years, do you have a moment where you get a little bit emotional thinking about this and it's going to be the last week that you're going to have the call opens here? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, a, it's always a bittersweet moment when you see these guys that have been in your program for four or five years and it's their last game. I mean, it is because you know they're – they're not going to be around anymore. You're going to miss them because you you love these guys. You know you love them. I mean, they're they're like one of your own children, and so you know they're fixing to go out in the world, and you just hope that you've done a great job of preparing them to be better men, be better husbands, be better fathers, and all those things. Uh, but yeah, I'll I'll miss every one of these guys, and and uh, you know I, I'm I love what they've done. I love uh, the way they've approached the season and, and the way they've led, and and. Uh, you know, they're all going to be they're all going to be better because of it. If, if you factor in that and and everything that has happened, the losses, you know, how how would getting this particular win against a rival as well uh, feel? Or what would it mean oh, to you? It'll feel great. I mean, what would it mean uh, to any, you? Anytime you need a you know you win in a, a rivalry game, it's a it's it's a big deal and it's a it's a lot of fun. I mean, it's a it's a great rivalry. You got a, a school that's a few miles down the road, and uh, the fans are interacting every day, and uh, you know, so it's uh, it's it's always fun to play in this game. I mean, and it's uh, you know, it's it's more fun when you win it. I can tell you. And and what would it mean to you as well? It would mean that uh, these kids uh, stayed the course, worked hard, prepared well, and, and got the job done on Saturday. The way the last two years have gone. Um, and speculation about your uh, future here. Uh, have you had a conversation with Bubba recently about your situation? And I talk to Bubba every week. I mean, every week Bubba and I sit down and talk about uh, the game and what's went on in the game and everything. And uh, it's no different from every week throughout the entire season. Have you been given an indication of what your future is going to be here? No, we haven't talked about anything other than the games at, at hand. When you look at your seven years here, um, something on the field, a couple things on the field. What are you most proud of that the program has accomplished on the field? You know, I, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I, I'm, I'm not looking back at the last seven years. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really concerned with getting this team ready to play a really good football team. I, I don't have time to reminisce right now about what's going on or what's happened in the past. It's more about what do we need to do to win this football game this set. Since you don't want to reminisce, I'm going to ask you anyway. Uh, among the game-winning plays that you've been associated with in your coaching career, where is Geo's punt return? Uh, that's, game yeah, ranks? that's just, I mean, I don't know how that can't be as, as big of a – you know, play ever in your life. I mean, those things don't happen very often, and uh, they're very far and few between. And so that's always a special moment. Yeah. Did it make it more special? I guess that was your first game in the rivalry, wasn't it? Your yes. first year. Yes. Did that make it kind of more special too than your memory? Uh, you know, at the at the time, you didn't really know the uh, the intensity of the rivalry. It's in your your first time. I mean, other than what people talk about. Uh, but uh, I mean, it was. Anytime you win a game like that, I mean, it's, uh, you know, at home, I mean, and, and uh, that was, that was, it's a big deal, yeah. So that was something that you'll never forget. Coach, your one conference win came against Pitt, and uh, they ended up winning the Coastal Division. Are, are you going back to maybe the film from that game at all to say, hey, we did something right here to beat one of the top teams in the ACC, and maybe using that as an example as you approach this game against another very talented NC State team? Yeah, but no. I mean, I'm not because Pitt, the Pitt game and, and what Pitt scheme and what they do has nothing to do with this 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 team. So there's not, you know, there's things that there's things. I mean, all everything we're doing is game planning against, you know, this team. And uh, there, you know, I, I don't know that there's much carryover from the Pitt game other than learning from the mistakes and the good things that happened in that game, which is what we do, you know, on Sundays.
How do your players feel going into this game as far as knowing they, they can compete with NC State regardless of your record and how many games you guys have been compet competitive in? I, don't, I think that our guys uh, in, in this game have never considered what the record is of either team. I mean, they, 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 this is a rivalry game, and, and they get excited about playing it. I don't, I don't, I mean, I, I don't know that uh, anybody's ever been concerned with the records in the game when you go into this game because anything can happen. Yes. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you.